Tim Steins was a giant of the AFL. He played 264 games for the Melbourne Demons, but it was his contribution off the field that left the largest lasting legacy. Steins' charity, The Reach Foundation, has helped countless young Aussies struggling with mental health since 1994. And this weekend in the AFL, it's the Round for Reach, shining a light on its work. Jim Stein's widow Sam Lovely Steins and Melbourne captain Max Gorn join us now from Amy Park in Melbourne. Sam, I'd like to start with you. Thanks so much for joining us. I mean, Jim was really out in front of uh, the rest of society and the rest mm. of the league almost 30 years ago when he spoke about mental health. Uh, what impact has the foundation had on, on young Australians? Well, I think since Reach's conception that long ago, it's affected 1.2 million young Australians. So it's continuing to thrive and it's fantastic that it's, it's doing it with Jim not here. And uh, the people that are leading the organisation are continuing on with the great work for young people of Australia. Hey, Max, you're pushing the message, be like Jim. Hmm. What does that mean? Uh, well, first of all, it's pretty easy for me to be like Jim. I, I wear his number, I play in the same position. Um, kind of the same height. I think I had him by a couple of centimetres, but... Um, <laughs> no, to, to be like Jim is different to everyone. To me, it's for me to be myself. So it's actually quite funny. Be like Jim is be like Max to me, because that yeah. was, that, that's what Jim was. Jim was someone who was so himself um, in an environment where he had every right not, not to be himself in a foreign league, in a foreign mm. country. Um, and that's the message he's pushing across to all these young Australians to be able to be themselves no matter what environment they're in. And to be honest, that's what now as a captain I'm pushing towards our team as well. Um, and hopefully you see that out on the field. You've just got to work on that accent to be more like Jim in that front. Um, uh, Sam, Jim would have been so proud <laughs> with, with how far this has all come. Yeah, completely. I was chatting with a close friend that still works at the Reach Foundation and we were joking, just saying we can't kill this guy off. Like, it's 10 years on and he's still, you know, um, around in spirit, um, managing to encourage us all to keep doing great work with, with the organisation and with young people and, you know, try to be believe in ourselves, believe in other people and help help young people be the best version of themselves. So he would be incredibly proud. And uh, I just reckon he's pulling some strings from wherever he is, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you think he could sort of pull those strings? I mean, second on the ladder, the Ds. Um, are we thinking back-to-back -back premierships with a bit of help from Jim? <laughs> That's one for Max, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Jim, Jim certainly helped us last year. Um, not sure how much I can keep calling <laughs> on him, but... <laughs> um, no, it's a, it's a great game this, this, this week. It's second v third. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm just really excited to be able to play some, some footy in September again because for mm. 10 years I didn't get to play any footy towards this, uh, this, this fun part of the year. So um, we're, mm. we, I think we're definitely back there. I think we're 13 or 14 wins, so we're definitely playing finals. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, I think you're doing OK. <laughs> and how about that match tomorrow night? Collingwood, I mean, in, in terms of everything everyone in Melbourne would have dreamed of during all those lockdowns, a packed MCG for Melbourne and Collingwood in this kind of round has to be it, right? Yeah, we've had a pretty big rivalry, obviously, for a long time with the Queen's birthday game. Um, and t t sometimes the teams have been at the top, down the bottom, one team up the top, one team down the bottom. But now we've got both teams, second and third. Um, I know it's not Queen's birthday, but it's, it's really exciting to be able to play Friday night footy. And um, I think with this being the round for, the round for reach, um, to play that on a Friday night, um, I feel like, as you know, Friday night's the, the biggest game of our, of our week. To be able to give reach sort of that platform and mm. um, hopefully the donations come 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 through. I think it's $11. You scan the QR code, hopefully, on the TV there. Or you can zoom in on my badge if, you, if you're good enough at, at um, home. <laughs> but Zura can be on bank, who are great sponsors of our, of our football club, are, are matching donations up to 50k today. So um, that's, that's, that's really exciting. Well, I'll be joining Sam in barracking for the Ds. Um, just a quick question. Charles, who will you be going for tomorrow? Tell <laughs> Max who you will be going Max for. Max and Sam, I'm sorry I'm a Collingwood fan, but, <gasps> but given the circumstances, I'll, I'll be politely happy and not totally disappointed if Melbourne win. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Just yeah. donate your $11. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Good advice. Really I guarantee nice you that. Really nice to talk to you guys and, and I hope it goes really well for you. Thanks.